Good evening, junkies. Welcome to eminijunkie.com, your yesterday mentor's free training video for Friday, August 5th, 2011. Today we had a total of 12 executable trade signals for a max potential of 71 ES ticks. This video is for educational purposes only, is intended to highlight our high probability trade setups and give you a feel for the quantity of trades taken each trading day using this approach. A full trading plan and daily live trading room can be accessed via our website at eminijunkie.com. Okay, we opened up this morning right around 12-12-25. Uh, we were right on the edge of what we call our high probability gap fill. Uh, it was a super large range due to yesterday's price action and actually the price action we've been having all week. But nonetheless, we opened right on that edge. And the first thing we did was uh, we kind of moved a little sideways, pushed down through our moving average underneath the daily pivot, pulled right back to it. Got a real nice signal to get short. That did produce targets 1 and targets 2 to the downside for 15 ticks. And the market, uh, as you know, picked up a lot of momentum after that. Actually, uh, so much so that our chart started getting a little lopsided uh, with um, our particular charting platform with uh, the one that I project here. Uh, but I always keep a backup data provider, actually two. And so we were able to read the charts okay. And we actually had a signal, uh, this moving average, that there was some tick data lost on uh, this particular platform. but. Um, that we did get a valid signal. The moving average was actually down a little lower here. Uh, unfortunately for us, that was a stop out. T1 minus 2 on that particular move. And to kind of, kind of put a little asterisk by our charts today because of, you know, uh, during that big sell-off down through 10 o'clock, uh, the charts just really uh, were having some issues. But the first trade of the day was a great one. And then after about 10.30, things started getting back uh, to a little bit of normalcy here. And you can see we pushed up and... Uh, we, we sold off again, ended up with another signal, targets 1 and targets 2 for 11 ticks that particular time. Came down to the 10.45 confirmation time, just got a real small bounce there. And uh, it looked like we were going to go through uh, and, and make higher highs. Ended up with a full stop out. Now that was a counter trend trade and it was a lot of panic in the market these last two days. But nonetheless, there was a signal along there. Full stop out, T0 minus 14 on that particular move. And then... Um, we had a nice signal set up to the downside, just hit us to the tick, no fill on that particular trade, only to see the bottom fall out again. Unfortunate for that one if you didn't take an aggressive entry, but no fill there at uh, 11.10, so no points to take credit for on that particular move. And then uh, heading into lunchtime dead zone, you can see they came back through our moving average. Another stop out, counter trend, T1 minus 2. Kind of crazy, we were just kind of wrapping up in the room, talking about a few things, talking about the day. We actually had some nice uh, trades in the room where people were able to catch that earlier move that was a no-fill, and they were uh, falling it down. Then all of a sudden, boom, uh, out of nowhere, this market puts in its low, 63.50. Not really out of nowhere. There was a long-term support level there if you're looking at a daily chart and a weekly chart. Uh, it was just underneath... Um, uh, some previous lows we had and uh, there were some levels there but they traded way through it those levels were up around 70 71 area and you can see it just picked up a ton of momentum and what that was this this quick move down that was what we call kind of a flush that's where you know a lot of contracts come in uh, they, they flush people out and then boom they rip their heads off uh, the late coming bears to the upside and we traded almost 45, 50 points during the lunchtime dead zone. We call it the dead zone. We don't trade during it because normally it is a little lighter volume and it normally is uh, a little dead and volatile, but nothing like today. All the volume was there. This market bounced about 45 points and just made a mad dash to the upside. Now coming out of the dead zone, we actually did get a signal to get long uh, that did produce targets one and targets two to the upside. Uh, for 11 ticks and it was a little bit back and forth. The afternoon was actually quite productive for us. It was kind of back to the downside. Now these swings, although they look small on the chart, these are not uh, small swings by any stretch of imagination. They're 10 point wide swings. So we had another signal for T2 for 9 ticks to the downside, another signal 10 ticks to, oops, that's it's supposed to be T2. I have it marked as T1. 10 ticks to the upside, came back down another 10 ticks to the downside so it was just back and forth back and forth these huge swings it was lining up nicely and then we had um, a couple other trades towards the end of the day we had a, a small little one here this is kind of funny that seven ticks that's normally a big trade for us uh, but there was a seven tick trade right there at 230 
a little false signal to the upside as it was getting ready to roll over again right about 2.45 for a T1 minus 2 and then uh, right at the very tail end of the day one last signal uh, for 18 more ticks there at the uh, at the end so all in all it was just a fantastic day uh, the system held up very nicely uh, even amongst all the volatility and that's what's nice even slow markets and in fast markets alike this plan and this style keeps you safe now today was hectic and frantic and uh, you know some of the platforms out there were having issues uh, but uh, that's why you always want to keep a backup you want to stay to your plan and if uh, the market just gets a little too crazy for you don't trade it we had that first trade of the day and then it kind of started getting crazy had to back off a little bit uh, then uh, then the uh, swing started uh, showing nicely again. So don't be afraid to keep your powder dry uh, in times of extreme volatility. Uh, but as your setups come, make informed decisions. Longer time frame charts are usually best, so you don't get whipsawed in uh, these tighter time frames. So all in all, great day. 12 trades, 71 ES ticks, topping off a great week. I want to thank you for watching. For more details on this plan, including all the chart setups, or to join our live trading room and video newsletter, please visit eminijunkie.com or just simply click the link at the top of the screen. Thanks, and make it a great day.